Hi, I'm Trent Goodmanson. Welcome to my art studio. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to prime boards for painting on. So instead of painting on canvases, I always paint on boards. And the board that I use is um, known as Masonite, or nowadays it's actually known more often as just hardboard. Um, I use the kind that's smooth on one side and rough on the other side, although you can use MDF, a lot of people do. Actually, it doesn't matter if it's smooth on one side or both sides. I actually, now that I've mentioned it, kind of like the one with smooth on both sides a little bit better. Um, it's a little easier to, to waterproof and cover on the on the back side. But again, you know, you can kind of use anything. Um, you could use plywood if you wanted to, I'm sure. <laughs> um, you can paint on, on anything, but it's, it's always best to seal it properly. And again, the reason we're doing this is because we don't like sanding at all. We don't like sanding at all. It's not fun. And we don't want it to chip off. And so normally we would have to sand it, but you know, we don't want to sand it. Gesso doesn't like to, to stick to this stuff very well without sanding. And I'll tell you what, I really hate sanding. Why do we use this glue? Because we hate to sand the boards. That's why. It's it's messy, it gets in my lungs. Um, I, I just, I don't know, regardless of what I should be doing, I just don't like the process. I, I don't like that step. So I found a way to make it easier for you and I hope this helps you out. All right, the stuff that I'm using is this neutral pH adhesive. This neutral pH adhesive by Linico Company. You can get it from any of the art uh, warehouses from dickblick.com. You might be able to get it on Amazon too. But anyway, I buy it by the by the gallon because I use a lot of it, but I don't use it straight. I use it, I mix it together. I mix it 50-50 with um, distilled water. So I've got written there for sizing canvas and for oil priming. So so one interesting thing is you can actually paint right, right on top of this. The oil will be, you know, separated from the from the board or you can use it on canvas. And the reason I mix it with water, and again, it's distilled water, I just want to avoid any um, other chemicals in there, uh, additives that might, you know, make it not work quite as well. But I just pour it on. You can see I've already started doing it. I, I try to get it pretty thin. That's already thin, but I, I put it on thin too. It doesn't need to be very thick at all. I just spread it around. I usually have my other hand to do this, so I'm a little bit less coordinated this way. But you get the picture. Now, the reason we have to do this is because the oil in oil paint, the safflower or linseed oil, has a tendency to, well, to degrade um, products that people use for painting on. Now, linseed oil actually is used as a wood a wood um, sealer. So to be honest, I don't know the science. Um, I don't know why it would be bad for oil painting and not bad for, for uh, sealing regular wood. But regardless, um, I actually have tried painting directly onto this, this hardboard and it, it soaks in so quickly that it's, I mean, it's really terrible. Um, other people might have had different experiences, but I have not enjoyed it. So, anyway, you don't probably don't want to see me do the whole thing, but oh, but on the edges, I just go like this. So it's kind of like cutting in if you've ever painted a, a room in your house before. Anyway, this stuff comes up easy. It's water based. It's water water soluble until it dries, and then it's totally waterproof, which is really nice. Um, I have never found a better product for this. Now, once this dries, and you can see that it already is in places, um, and I want to hit that a little bit harder, a little bit thicker, just to be sure I get every last bit. And half to that, all I do is put three coats of gesso on. Um, I currently like golden gesso. Um, I've used so many other kinds, and I and I can't say that I've actually chosen a favorite, but this one 
happens to be a really thick one, you know, professional grade. Professional grade gessos usually are quite thick. And usually those thick gessos, you wanna actually mix it with a little bit of water anyway, because it's supposed to go on kind of like, more like house paint in the first coat. And then the second and third coats you put on a little bit thicker and you can kind of play with, um, with textural things. You can you know, go like this with your brush or, you know, do the, the brush strokes different ways. Again, this is glue. It's not going anywhere after it goes on here. I have had phenomenal success getting the gesso to stick to even the completely dry. If it's been dry for weeks and weeks, I can still get this to, to stick perfectly to that. Never had anything peel. I've never had anything peel off, flake off. Again, it really is just a regular glue. It seals the corners, seals the pores. It's just, I feel like it's my secret weapon, really. And I'm sharing it with you. So the reason we want to do all this is just because, um, again, if we don't sand this board, after a few years, start to chip off, particularly in the corners. I don't want that. You don't want to make a nice painting and have it just get ruined because it's not prepared properly. Don't want that to happen to you. It seals, it holds the fibers together, whether it's canvas or wood, it's just awesome. Anyway, to cut this short, I'll just, again, plug that. Linico Neutral pH Adhesive, mixed 50-50 with distilled water. All right, I will show you soon what I'm working on. You can see a few things in the background. I'll talk about those a little later. In the meantime, have fun painting, and I'll see you soon. Here's what it looks like when it's about 95% dry. You can still see the little parts here that are slightly wet. I can, I can touch them, but ever so slightly tacky. The stuff is ready to, to gesso.